Well, we all remember the earthquake that devastated Haiti three years ago. Maybe you even donated money to help. But then perhaps you may have regretted that a little bit doing that when you see people still living, David, in tent cities there just years later. Things haven't seemed to change. So is Haiti's prime minister in Davos to ask world leaders for even more? Here's Liz. The country of Haiti crystallizes the need for global aid, but also frustrates anybody out there, any country who's ever wanted to help. But is that about to change? There is new leadership. The Prime Minister, Laurent Lamotte, is joining us now here on Fox Business. And what I find interesting very much about your perspective is that you were a telecom entrepreneur before becoming Prime Minister. Tell me what you hope to bring from your old life into your new one as the leader of Haiti. Dynamism and the spirit that things can change with the private capital, private investments. This is what Haiti needs and this is what we're looking for at Davos. Tell me how to believe you and here's why I say that. Um, we are tricked many years by, by Haitian leaders who were corrupt, took the money that came in aid for the poor people. How will you change Haiti? This government is very pro-business. We, we come from a business background. We understand that with private capital, the government alone is not going to change Haiti. We need the private businesses to come. We've had several that came already. Digicel is doing business. Royal Caribbean Cruise Line is doing business. Heineken just invested in Haiti. So things are looking better for the country right now. What do you offer private business that's out there looking to set up shop in places where they feel there's opportunity? We have the biggest industrial park in the Caribbean right now, built by the U.S., USAID, help the IDB and the Haitian government. It's a $250 million investment. We're very happy about that, and we feel that this is the platform on which to build to bring the country forward. It is time for people to see something other than video out of Haiti of tent cities or misery coming from an earthquake that was now three years ago. We remember in the United States so many people open their hearts and their wallets and, and all they ever see is the, the negative. You're talking about an industrial park. What's next? What kind of infrastructure are you pushing to build in Haiti? One of the points that we're looking for, for growth is that in, the, in the diversification of the growth is the tourism sector. Tourism, Haiti's, as you say, they always talk about Haiti, Haiti's problems and liabilities. Well, there is many good things about Haiti. Haiti has one of the nicest islands in the Caribbean. The tourism sector is one where growth can, can come and we are pushing, we are aggressively pushing the Ilavash, which is one of the nicest islands in the Caribbean with, with white sandy beaches coconut trees and we have four of the largest investors investing in that island right now so we are very excited about the future prospects that Haiti will have. What is the one thing you take from your entrepreneurial days where you were a telecom executive to really bring to the country right now? Well one of the thing is to, to show that hard that one is hard work. Right. Second is the private capital is what makes a difference. We cannot depend on handouts forever. We have to fly from our own wings and we have to take matters into our own hands and, and, and love the country and push as much as possible to get the development going. It's not, it's not by waiting for, for people to assist us or waiting for handouts that we, that we will get development on track. We have to be aggressive, we have to be focused and we have to deliver the results. Laurent Lamotte is the Prime Minister of Haiti we do wish you good luck. It's a, it's a tough challenge, but we do wish you the luck there. Thank you very much, and I want to thank the American people also for helping us when we needed it the most. And we are working very hard to changing things in Haiti. That's good to hear. Many of our Fox viewers extended a hand uh, back during the disaster, but we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. David, I will send it back to you in New York.